dear students i am santa working as a physics faculty in target english medium school today in the chapter of heat in this part video i would like to explain about what is condensation and condensation is a which type of process and how we can understand okay condensation is a warming process with suitable example and okay so what are the applications we are observed under the condensation process this type of topics mostly i covered in this okay video let me come to our okay topic directly what is condensation condensation is nothing but simply we can define in the two ways the first one simple one is it is a reverse process of vaporization or okay boiling simple okay or the another thing is okay the process of the process of gaseous or is nothing but vapor anyone we know that gaseous phase is changes into the into the liquid phase is called condensation so listen very carefully condensation is nothing but it is one of the process okay the process of gases or vapor phase is changes into the liquid phase is called condensation and condensation is simply how we can write it is a reverse process of vaporization is nothing but boiling in the boiling what we know that liquid phase is changes into the vapor phase but here vapor phase is changes into the liquid phase that's why we can tell very clearly or we, we say very clearly condensation is a reverse process of vaporization okay but how we can understand the condensation okay so generally condensation is a which type of okay process means it is a warming process it is a warming process warming is nothing but we feel more sultry that is the meaning of warming process how the condensation is a warming process in evaporation we discuss that it is a cooling process because of the temperature of the liquid is gradually decreases sir okay but now here it is which type of one it is a warming process really condensation is a warming process or not how we can okay how we can understand for that one i will explain with one suitable example
understanding of you, I will explain with this example. Really, condensation is a warming process. Or, how water vapor or gaseous state of substance is converted into the liquid substances? Is it possible or not? That is, we are discussing in this time. So, here, okay. First of all, we are taking either soft cold drink water bottle, soft cold drink bottle, or a transparent glass tumbler. Tumbler is filled with some quantity of or certain quantity of ice cubes. Anyone we can consider or taken, we can observe it, our phenomena. Listen very carefully. First of all, I will explain both cases. First of all, we can bring out, sorry, brought out a soft cool drink bottle from the refrigerator or fridge. It will be kept on open place. Okay. So initially, we are observing that on the outer surface of the okay soft cold drink bottle, we don't observe any tiny water droplets or anything. It is normal. Okay, situation is there. But now, after few minutes, you will become unobserved. We are observing on the outer surface of the okay soft cold drink bottle some tiny water droplets we are seeing on its outer surface okay so what we can do here first of all we can brought out a soft cold what soft cool drink bottle from the refrigerator it will be keep on the table in a room okay after few initially we can we cannot observe it okay any tiny water droplets because of no water droplets are formed because of we cannot powder any water just you can remove from the fridge and keep in the open place that's why so we can't see means okay any water droplets on this one but after certain time okay or after few minutes we will be you will become and observe the on the outer surface of the soft cold drink body we see tiny water droplets is it correct or not okay so how we can see the tiny water droplets on the outer surface how it will be comes okay are you found any water on the cold drink body no but how the tiny water droplets are appears to us are, okay on its outer surface means condensation process is involved here how the condensation is there okay so means now let me come to that one so we know that in a room okay inside the room what is the air is there okay the air will be moved from one place to another place freely into the all directions that's why we have accepted that the air will be moving like this at one time here one time like this one just for the same so it is the surrounding air simply it is also surrounding air now let me come to the heat energy once we remember the concept of heat in the concept of heat i clearly explain to you okay heat energy is always transferred from a body at higher temperature to a body at lower temperature here which is the hot body and which is the cold body how we can identify or okay means okay so how we can conclude means in this one Generally, if you can remove the soft cold drink bottle from the fridge, means okay, what purpose we are using the fridge to decrease the temperature, means to cool in the substances. That's why, okay, the soft cold drink bottle we are considered as a cooling object or cold object, and the surrounding air is okay. Generally, I say that okay, the average okay. Atmospheric temperature is 20 degrees Celsius. But what is the cold drink bottle from the fridge you can remove means it is 20 degrees Celsius? No, maybe it is 5 degrees or less than the 10 degrees.
this, like that one is there. That's why, just for understanding of you, the temperature of this bottle is 10 degrees Celsius for understanding of you only. That's why surrounding air is acts as a hot body and the soft golden body removed from the fridge that is acts as a okay, cold body. Now, now here we are observing that the surrounding air will be during its motion when it is touches to the surface of the soft cold drink bottle then what will be happen means so air is nothing but we know that it is a mixing of number of gases along with water vapor means in the air what is there water vapor is there water vapor means it is in which state gases state in the air air is also gases state but in the air our main concept is what is that one water vapor that's why water vapor is initially in which state gases state is there in the surrounding air that's why when the surrounding air is touches to the surface of the soft cold drink bottle which is kept in the open place after removing from the fridge okay in this one so the surrounding okay air will be touches to the outer surface it losses the some kinetic energy we know that when two bodies are collision with each other their velocity will be decreases is nothing but kinetic energy is also decreases when the kinetic energy is decreases we know that temperature is decreases okay now here come to that one therefore the surrounding air will be falsely come and touches to the outer surface of the soft cold drink bottle at that time the water vapor molecules present in the air is losses the kinetic energy okay that energy will be imparted to the which one glass particles means the glass particles are absorbed that heat energy okay during the collision that heat energy further imparted to which one the liquid which is present inside the bottle that's why inside the bottle liquid temperature is slightly rises that's why okay condensation is a which process it is the warming process okay leave it that one okay further next year temperature is slightly increases that is first you can okay consider that so in this one one more thing is also there simply according to the kinetic theory of gases when the surrounding air is a touches to the soft cold drink bottle okay when you are consider it is a cold object at that time during the collision of the air surrounding air particles and okay surface of the tumbler okay the surrounding air particles will be okay reaches to their threshold energy level threshold energy level means the minimum amount of energy will be released okay during the collision simply okay the minimum amount of energy that will be released during the okay collision when two are mutually interacted means here air particles and glass particles these two are the two different things these two different things are collide at that time what will they happen so it losses some energy or not we discuss that the surrounding air is losses the kinetic energy that kinetic energy will be taken by which one okay means that energy will be taken by the glass particle then the further these glass particles are supply the heat energy to the inside the liquid then the liquid temperature slightly increases means here okay the surrounding air temperature is slightly decrease and glass and inside the liquid temperature slightly rises that's why we know that water vapor is in the gaseous state when it is losses their kinetic energy their temperature is decreases if the temperature is decreases water vapor is not in the okay gas state it is converted to the which state okay liquid state that's why some water vapor is converted into the liquid and form as deep tiny water droplets on the on the outer surface of the soft cold drink bottle like the same way Now we can take a transparent glass tumbler. Okay, in this glass tumbler, we take some quantity of ice cubes. Okay, so after that, after certain time, we are also observing that on the outer surface of the glass tumbler, some tiny water droplets are we see. Okay, how many same thing is there? So the surrounding air means here the glass tumbler 
in the class number which is we have taken ice cube that's why it is acts as a cold body and the surrounding a in the room it is acts as a hard body that's why when the surrounding a is a touches to the surface of the glass tumbler it loses its kinetic energy means temperature is decreases that's why water vapor okay is some of the water vapor present in the a is converted into the which one water droplets is nothing but liquid which water vapor present in the air sorry which water vapor is touches to the glass tumbler along with the air that portion of the water or that volume or that region of the water vapor is slight converted into the water and it will be okay sticking to the outer surface of the glass tumbler simply one thing is there okay so in the two ways you can easily understand condensation process what is the condensation it is a process of or uh, it is a, it is a process changing the gases phase into the which phase liquid phase okay from this one are you understanding clearly or not because of water vapor is in the which state gas is state in the air okay that is after touches to the soft holding body or uh, okay a glass tumbler which is filled with ice cubes in these two cases we are observing that water vapor present in the air okay is converted into the water that's why vapor phase is changes into the liquid phase but what is the reason means some cases there are asking the explanation what we can write means okay so first of all we can drop out a soft cold drink bottle from the refrigerator and place in okay on a table so the soft cold drink bottle is acts as a cold body in the room the surrounding air is acts as a hot body because the average temperature of the surrounding air is what is that one 20 degree celsius that's why the surrounding air in the room it will be move into the different directions means in the rand due to random motion that's why okay the surrounding air when touches to the surface of the cold drink bottle so the okay water vapor will means the air will be losses the kinetic energy during collision with glass particles okay so that's why the water the air will be okay losses the kinetic energy due to the collision and if the kinetic energy is decreases automatically temperature is also decreases that decreasing temperature is absorbed by which one glass molecules these glass molecules further transfer the energy to the liquid present inside it that's why the glass molecules and liquid present inside the molecules this temperature is slightly increased and surrounding air temperature slightly decreased but during the collision here okay glass molecules and surrounding air the water vapor which water vapor particles is collision with the outer surface of the glass tumbler okay after losses their energy their energy will decrease to threshold energy level then automatically water vapor is converted into the water that water tiny that water we see as a tiny water droplets on the outer surface of the tumbler or soft cold drink bottle. This is the one of the best evidence to understand the condensation process in our daily life. And also, one more thing I say is that condensation is a which type of process? It is a warming process. Okay. Is really it is a warming process or not? For this one also, I will tell with one suitable example in our daily life. Generally, okay, if you are, okay, so means after completion of your bathing, under the shower if you try to okay dry up your skin you feel okay some sultriness is it correct or not okay listen very carefully so after completion of your bathing under the shower in a hot day okay so if you try to okay dry your skin with the towel at that time you feel more sultriness inside the room okay what is the reason so in this one a simple reason is there okay listen very carefully so in a room generally most of the cases it is a enclosed like that one is there 
That's why when you can pour the hot water on our skin under the shower, okay, some water is converted into the which one? Water vapor. That is you know that. Okay. That water vapor is okay goes to vertically upward by the convection mode and it will touches to the ceiling of the room. But ceiling of the room it is in which mode it is a cooling mode. That's why this okay water vapor in the convection mode it go and touches to which one ceiling. Then the ceiling okay when the water vapor is touches to the ceiling the water vapor is losses the kinetic energy and convert into the water droplets by the condensation process. That's why the number of water molecules inside the room per unit area is very high when compared to outside the bathroom. Because of in the outside the bathroom, that much of water particles are not there. Okay. But inside the room, what will be happen? This all the water vapor will be trapped. That's why more amount of water vapor is converted into the water droplets is nothing but indirectly humidity is increases. That's why when the humidity is increases, we feel more sultriness. It is happened by which process only? Convection, sorry, condensation process. Because of water vapor, it after touches to the ceiling of the bathroom. Okay, so it will be converted into the water okay, molecules by losses the heat energy during the collision. Okay, and one more thing also. Okay, so at the same time, and along with that one, the surrounding area is also very warm, is there. But after dry up our skin, okay, so the surrounding area will be warm, but our body will be cool. That's why when the surrounding warm air is touches to our skin after dry up with the towel, then immediately they losses the heat energy and the water vapor in the warm air in our surrounding is converted into the water droplets and form on your skin. That is also one of the reason. Okay, you feel warm. That's why condensation is a which type of process? Warming process. Under this one, one okay question they are asking regularly. What is that one? If after completion of your body under the okay shower in a hot day, why you feel sultriness? Means so in this one, which process is involved? Condensation. Condensation is in which process? Warming process. How means with the help of this example, you can understand very easily. Okay. Means after completion of your body, the number of water molecules per unit area inside the room is very high when compared to the outside. That's why we feel sultriness due to condensation process. But how the condensation process is involved? I tell that very clearly. So during the bathing in the hot day, the water will be evaporated. The evaporated water will be go and touches to the which one? Ceiling of the room. The ceiling, when it is touches to the ceiling of the room, the water vapor is losses the warm, okay, losses the kinetic energy and converted into the tiny water droplets is nothing but indirectly humidity is increases. So, after touching to the ceiling of the fan, water vapor converted into the water droplets means it is which process? Condensation process. That's why by the condensation process inside the room, what is increases? Humidity is increases. When the humidity is increases, automatically sultriness is okay, increases because of we know that okay, in the previous one. Okay, humidity is increases, evaporation is decreases. Evaporation is a which process? Cooling process. Means cooling is decreased, means which is increased automatically? Warming is increases. That's why condensation is a which type of process? It is a warming process. Next one. Okay, under the condensation. Two another applications are there that is also we are observing in our daily life. What is that one means? First one is you, second one is fog. So, first one is what is that one? Dew, and second one is the fog. Okay, so already you are here this word dew and fog. But so which is the dew, which is the fog, how we can understand. Okay, means but anyway, in the in the formation of dew and in the formation of fog, which process is involved? Condensation process is involved. How the condensation process is involved?
involved in the dew and the fall. First of all, before going with that, what is the dew and what is the fall? That is going to explain clearly. So generally, okay, during the winter season, we are observing that, okay, mostly at the early morning, means at six and okay, five to six a.m. So we are observing that, okay, tiny water droplets. Tiny water droplets we are seeing on which one? Okay, grass. Okay, leaves. Window pans. Okay, window shield of car or bus or any other thing. Okay, so you are observing that. Okay, means. Some tiny water droplets are seen means listen okay, okay. during the winter season. Some tiny water droplets are seen on the leaves and the grass, wind pans, wind shield of wind shield means in front. Okay, in bus or car. Okay, mirror not mirror is the shield is there or not? Okay, that is one. That's why wind shield of car or bus or truck. And that one, some tiny water droplets we are observing there. And also, you can write something like with help of your okay, finger also. So, means uh, that is simply what you are called dew. Listen very carefully. During winter season, some tiny water droplets are observed or seen okay, on grass, leaves, wind pans, wind sail, of car or bus or truck. That is called dew. But means uh, generally, are you pouring the any water on the grass or leaves or window shield? No. Okay. Are you sprinkling the any water on this? Okay. Any objects? No. But how? Okay. The tiny water droplets are you are you are observed on this type of okay cases means uh, only one thing is there. So we know that during the winter season. The temperature is gradually decreases in the atmosphere. At the early morning, the temperature is very less. That's why if the temperature is decreases, the water vapor present in the air will be okay converted into the water and form as a tiny water droplets on this type of things is there. That is called what is that one dew. That's why water vapor present in the air is converted to the water droplets. That is a which process? Condensation process. What is the dew? During winter season, some tiny water droplets are seen or observed. Okay, such certain objects like grass, leaves. Okay, next one, wind pans, wind shield of car, bus, truck, like that one. In that one, we are seeing some tiny water droplets that is called dew. But what about the fall? So during the winter season, in the early morning, lies between okay, 3 a.m. to 5 a.m. mostly in this time. Here, okay, we are observing at 5 to 6 or 5 to 7. Okay, but mostly the fog we are observing that at which mainly 3 a.m. to 5 a.m. So during the winter season, at the early morning in this particular period of time, means in this, okay, lies between the 3 a.m. to 5 a.m. mostly, okay, a thick white mist we are observing, okay, on the road. Okay, so this, at that time when you are moving in a okay in any vehicle, you are observing that okay we can't able to see okay okay up to okay we can see we can able to see up to little bit distance only. But uh, okay, a vehicle is moving in front of you maybe at 100 meters or 200 meters we can't able to see. Is it correct or not? So means uh, you are simply says that uh, so total entire your surrounding is appears to you white smoke that is called what is that one fog. Listen very carefully. What is the fog means? Okay. So, a tiny water droplets flow on air and dust particles in the air. It forms a white misty and restricts the visibility. Listen very carefully. Okay. So, tiny water droplets will be float on dust, okay, air particles in the atmosphere. And it will be formed a white misty. It restricts the visibility. Okay, restricts the visibility means we can't able to see through that one. That's why in the nowadays for the vehicles, 
either for bikes or cars or lorries or trucks or buses we are using the fog lamps fog lamp means the light can easily passing through the okay fog then you can able to see when compared to the normal cases that's why that is the common fog but in the fog also means for like you know that these are the just this lines we are using as a water sorry air particles in the air particles what will be happen in this period of time or lies between in this time 3 am to 5 am during the winter season we are observing that okay so in this especially in this time the temperature in the atmosphere is very 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 less that's why you are observing in our daily life also at the early morning in this time we feel more cold okay that's why why we feel more cold because of the temperature is very less okay in the atmosphere okay lies between this time that's why at this time the water vapor present in the atmosphere is converted into the water okay by losing the energy because of if the temperature is decreases intermolecular force r what will be happen okay increases is it correct or not if the temperature is decreases the particles are comes close together then automatically okay so the water vapor is converted into the water the tiny water droplets are formed on the air particles is that air means dust and remaining is there on these particles okay these all the particles are come like together okay they are appear a white mystic okay but here for understanding of here to show in large way but they are very near that's why these all the air okay means some tiny water droplets are freely suspended on dust and air particles in the atmosphere and they form a white misty and restrict the visibility that is called what is that one fog that's why dew and fog are one of the best examples for the which process condensation process dew is formed by which process condensation fog is also formed by which process condensation one second reason which is called dew okay during winter season okay some tiny water droplets we are seeing such some objects like grass leaves wind pans wind shield of car bus or truck that is called dew in the dew which process is there okay condensation process is there next to fog okay so during the winter season at early morning some tiny water droplets are freely suspended on dust and air particles in the atmosphere and appears like a white mist okay and restricts the visibility that is called what is that one fog so dew is nothing but just you can see the okay water droplets but fog is nothing but it is formed a white mist and restricts the visibility okay that is one at the same way we are observing that during the winter season after you can wake up okay in the early morning when you try to speak anything okay so the what okay what will be happen the white okay means warm air will become outside from our mouth after come our mouth it will be appears to white why because of when the warm air okay warm air molecules will become outside but atmospheric temperature is less that's why immediately okay, it will be okay touches to the atmospheric temperature and losses their kinetic energy and automatically form the a large size of water droplets that is form a white mist is nothing but is the one of the example for formation of fog and also these two are comes under the which concept condensation concept so in our past video or previous video i will explain clearly under the boiling what is the latent heat of vaporization okay so condensation is the reverse process of which one vaporization that's why the latent heat of condensation is also latent heat of condensation latent heat of condensation so it is the just okay opposite for the latent heat of vaporization in the latent heat of vaporization what okay we discuss that the amount of heat energy required a unit mass of a substance 
the amount of heat energy required a unit mass of a substance to change from okay liquid phase to gaseous phase without any change in temperature that is called what is that one latent heat of vaporization but condensation means the amount of heat energy liberated because of during the condensation what will happen the air particles are losses the heat energy that is we know that that's why the amount of heat energy liberated by a unit mass of a substance to convert from gaseous phase to or vapor phase to liquid phase okay without any change in temperature is called condensation is a very carefully the amount of heat energy liberated are given out by a unit mass of a substance to change from gases or vapor phase to liquid phase is without any change in temperature is called latent heat of condensation okay the latent heat of vaporization value and the condensation value is both are same what is that one means 540 calories per gram Okay, 540 calories per gram in the joules, 2,268 joules per gram. That's why the latent heat of vaporization value and latent heat of condensation value both are same because of condensation is just reverse of the which process? Vaporization process.